Go at three o'clock Sunday afternoon. And of course, Steve Pierce will be out there on the track. It is <laughs> 1971 Chevy Vega. Oh. Racing against the big boys. Oh, I love the Vegas <laughs> with the big Mickey Thompsons on the back. <laughs> uh, or not. No. Uh, but hey, this is where I want to be this weekend. And this is where you should want to be too, Dan and Jeff, right now. 65 degrees, beautiful sunshine in Lincoln City. But the marine layer is uh, lurking off of the uh, coast there. And you folks down there along the coast know it doesn't take much to swing that back inland. But I think we're going to stay mostly uh, clear out there until right around sunset before those clouds move back in overnight. Boy, just bright sunshine here in the metro area. You can see the traffic backing up there onto 84 eastbound. Live look outside right now, downtown 86 degrees, 38% relative humidity, that barometric pressure at 29.98, and a northwest wind at 12 miles per hour. But notice those evening temperatures. They're going to be slow to taper off this evening as a nice warm ridge of high pressures uh, taking hold over the Pacific Northwest. And you can see that on the satellite and radar. Low clouds have pushed off the coast. It's clear in the valley as we widen it back out. An area of high pressure over the entire west coast of the United States, up into Canada, down off into the Rockies. It's going to keep us nice and high and dry. It's going to be a great summer weekend coming up over uh, Saturday and Sunday. Now 85 in Vancouver, 86 Portland, upper 80s to near 90 in the central and southern end of the Willamette Valley. 60s along the coast, there's a 97 at uh, the Dalles and Pendleton 93. Look at all those 90s over on the central and east side of the state. Very typical of this time of year and that will continue over the weekend. Our weather headlines, we'll call it no rain in sight for the next seven days as that summer weather pattern remains in place. Good outdoor weather. It's just some brief morning clouds in the valley tomorrow and Sunday. That'll keep it cool, and then we'll warm it up nicely in the afternoon. We'll keep it in the uh, 80s. Speaking of uh, racking up the heat so far, since summer started on June 20th, we've had three triple digits at PDX, seven days above 90, six in the 80s, and only three in the 70s. So we are running well below, uh, excuse me, well above normal especially with that heat wave that we saw. Uh, excessive heat warning uh, in effect down in the central and southern end of the state, down in the Rogue Valley area, Medford. We're going to be anywhere between about 100 and 105, especially over in those areas near the bootleg and jack fire. So be careful out there, folks. Okay, uh, smoke forecast shows at the higher levels of the atmosphere, especially from the bootleg fire. Most of that smoke moving off to the northeast over the weekend. Again, I think we're going to stay clear up here in the northwest part of the state. Future cast shows those morning clouds moving into the coast and briefly into the Lamette Valley. Here's 7 a.m. on your Saturday, and then they back off, burn off into the afternoon. Beautiful sunset tomorrow night. We'll rinse and repeat that again on Sunday. Coast tomorrow, 60s, valley 80s, gorge 80s, and then the central and east side of the state pushing up into the 97 day forecast. Jeff and Dan will go a sunny Saturday, 87. I think we'll knock just a degree off or two of that on Sunday with more in the way of morning clouds and a later burn off. Then a warm day on Monday, Tuesday remaining dry. And then next week we'll cool it down to a round average with just a few more morning clouds, guys. Yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. Coming up, there's a